2020 has been filled with more than its fair share of not-so-fun surprises. I guess that's to be expected during a global pandemic. The NBA bubble has seemingly been just as unpredictable, albeit with much more enjoyable storylines that really complement the quality of play we've seen out there on the court. Let's take a second and look back at 10 of the biggest surprises to come out of the NBA bubble. Number 10. The Heat When Jimmy Butler left Philadelphia for the Heat, some people thought that Miami could be decent. Maybe a 4 or 5 seed if things went well. But no one predicted a run to the finals. In fact, a lot of the talking heads argued that he was making a bad move. One went as far as to say a loser move. I guess no one could have foreseen the huge leap that guys like Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, and Bam Adebayo have made. But either way, the Heat have been a thrilling storyline all playoffs. Number 9. Jimmy Butler, the team player and winner. This has been the official playoffs of Reputation Rehab. Not only did Jimmy Butler catapult the Miami Heat back into the national consciousness with a legitimacy not seen since LeBron left, but he also did a complete 180 on his own image. Before this year, he'd been tagged as a locker room cancer and a selfish player, but that has all gone away now. It's amazing what a few wins can do. Am I right, Jimmy? Number eight. Yanis' Bucks getting bounced early. Yanis Antetokounmpo has made himself a nice little 2020, for the most part. Usually, when you cruise to your second consecutive NBA MVP award, you consider that season to be a success. But when your team gets embarrassed in the postseason, and some of the limitations in your game start to appear a little bit, it all changes. And cue the Yanis to Golden State rumors. Number 7. Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray had himself quite a time in the bubble. It seemed like night in and night out, he was routinely making plays that you just don't see in the NBA. The defense is too good, the game is too fast, and moves like the ones that Murray made are just too hard. Something you might not realize watching him because the guy makes it look so damn simple. It'll be awesome to watch how he and that exciting young core in Denver continues to develop. Number 6. Clippers blowing 3-1 to one lead. Okay, here's an easy one. How in the world did Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and the rest of the Clippers blow a 3-1 to one lead to the Denver Nuggets? It felt like the entire world was ready for an all-LA Western Conference Finals. Too bad Doc Rivers had other plans. Number 5. 76ers Dumpster Fire The 76ers were all we heard about for like the past five years, and now it looks like they're going to have to blow it all up again. Unbelievable. Should we call this one Trust the Process Part 2? Number 4. The bubble actually worked. One sort of meta surprise was the fact that the entire bubble experiment actually worked, really without any hiccups. While the entire world was in shambles, the NBA put together a plan in a limited amount of time and absolutely crushed it. And when you think about all of the moving parts that went into this operation, it's all the more impressive. Number three, the arena actually had an atmosphere. It wasn't just the safety precautions that were such a success. The league actually did a shockingly good job of making the production of the game actually exciting. Real G's move silence like lasagna. Admittedly, I wasn't crazy about the idea of videoing fans when I first heard about it, and while it was at times cringy, it did add something to the vibe. Add in some music and crafty camera work, and the bubble actually had a surprisingly good atmosphere. Number two. TJ Warren. I know it feels like years ago at this point, but TJ Warren was one of the breakout stars of the bubble. I mean, people were literally calling him the Michael Jordan of the bubble after he averaged just under 40 points in the first four games of the restart, all while shooting over 65% from the field. I don't think anyone saw that one coming. Number one, budding entrepreneurship. Okay, if you predicted that Jimmy Butler was going to start a coffee business in the bubble, or that CJ McCollum was going to be slinging vino, then you need to play the lotto. I know today's NBA players are all very involved in the business world, but I didn't expect this kind of hustle. But hey, what story from the NBA bubble surprised you the most? Join us in that comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, click in the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.